good Wednesday evening everybody welcome back to another video and tonight I'm gonna finally give you my thoughts on two recently released movies that I meant to film a review for last weekend but I just didn't get to it so you're finally gonna get my thoughts on the first movie I'm going to talk about the first movie I want to talk about is the first omen so this is a prequel that is set before the original classic and uh, this takes place in 1971 and it is about like this woman who goes to Rome and she spends like a summer at an orphanage. Well, turns out that uh, she might be pregnant with the Antichrist. <laughs> so this whole movie just delves into that subject and it's really graphic on some of the childbirthing scenes. I'll get into that in a minute, but uh, huh. right off the bat, this movie is practically a clone to Immaculate because it's pretty much the same setup, but you just slap Omen on it then they have like a completely different movie. So, this begins with two fathers of the church just having a conversation, and there is a series of unfortunate events that happens to one of the fathers, but it doesn't follow through on like all the gory details. So it was just like a stained glass that just broke apart then like split this dude's head in the back. But he just like walked off and smiled. I'm like, okay, that was weird. <laughs> but uh, the other unfortunate event that happened was with like a nun and uh, this mirrors that very famous part in the original Omen movie where the babysitter just stands out on the balcony of their house and she has like a noose around her neck and she just says it's all for you Damien and then she just hangs herself. Well, the lady in here kind of does the same thing, but she sets herself on fire. So it's much more brutal. <laughs> so uh, as this movie progresses, our main girl here, she starts having like, visions of very horrific imagery. So the childbirthing scenes in here, like I said, are pretty gnarly, especially one very early in the movie where she's either imagining it or it did happen for real. Well, there was like a demonic hand that like came out of the woman's nether regions. Yeah, fun stuff. <laughs> but, uh, I guess I have been like spoiling this whole thing. So, uh, it turns out the only way for her to like birth the Antichrist is for her to be like a spawn of Satan 
and she actually does have the 666 birthmark and the roof of her mouth. So that definitely made her uh, birth Damien. So the way this thing wraps up, it turns out uh, everybody that was at this orphanage just wanted her to birth the Antichrist. So it goes through all that and uh, they proceed to give her like a C-section and they pretty much see everything. Like I said, the birthing uh, scenes are very graphic, but the rest of the movie isn't all that graphic. It's just the birthing scenes, and it's pretty gnarly. <laughs> so, like I said, that final twist comes upon where you get the family that adopts Damien. And uh, it actually ends where the Thorns are in the hospital and Damien is born. So he's now Damien Thorn. So I really did enjoy this movie. It's a little wacky but it doesn't like compare to like the original I mean the original is a classic but I can see this uh working as the first omen followed by the omen 1976 these movies just mesh well together so Criticism aside, this is almost a clone of Immaculate. But I think I liked Immaculate more. So, overall, I would give the first Omen a B. That was the same grade I gave Immaculate, so that's pretty fair. And, uh... Those are my thoughts on the first Omen. My next video, which I'm going to get set up here in a sec, is going to be my thoughts on Monkey Man. Totally different movie. So stay tuned for that. But otherwise, that's all I got for this video. I'll see you guys in a minute. Adios. Peace.